Black neighborhoods in St. Louis and other cities all across America were either removed or displaced in the name of urban renewal from the 1940s all the way through the 1960s. PBS NewsHour Communities correspondent Gabrielle Hayes chronicled one of these communities in St. Louis, once called Mill Creek Valley. Gabrielle, thank you for joining me. Thank you. I want to start off by asking you about Mill Creek Valley because you were there reporting. Tell us a little bit about the, the neighborhood, its history, and what you found out. Mill Creek Valley was a neighborhood of nearly 20,000 people that was demolished and essentially wiped out under urban renewal policies, policies that came down from the federal government that uh, provided a pathway for um, cities and states and areas to essentially um, take land from communities, uh, oftentimes communities of color, black communities, um, in order to build residential housing or highways or whatever developments that um, they wanted to pursue. Can you contextualize this in terms of what it meant for St. Louis? I learned the story through talking to people who lived in Mill Creek Valley, who were children in Mill Creek Valley, who remember being 10 years old and seeing their friends start to disappear and having to figure out why that is. Uh, we're talking about children who ended up having to move to all white schools where principals were telling them that the school system was going downhill because black people were moving into the neighborhood. But I did talk to plenty of former residents, including Vivian Gibson, um, who broke down to me what she was hoping people understood about their experience uh, living in Mill Creek. I want people to know, know about the humanity of this community, how we strive, how our parents strive to do the best for their children that they could do without bringing the, the, the hatred that was around all around them and us. Can you tell me a little bit more about how urban renewal was leveraged as a way to displace people and how that affected people like Vivian? Yeah. You have to think of the context of the times, right? So you you push a people to one space because you don't want to give them access to equal housing opportunities. And then you decide when you want to take their land that you'll just do it. And so where does that leave the people who live there to go? I interviewed a expert at the University of Richmond. They have studied urban renewal policy extensively and how it's affected people. And they say... Um, it was by no means a coincidence that it happened to Black people across the country. So Mill Creek Valley, the people who lived there, already had a limited access to housing, period. Not only housing, but equitable housing, housing with running water. Um, and so we have this enclave, this community where Mill Creek residents settled, and then they would um, find out that the government would even you know, move to take that away from them as well. What are some of the things that the people that you spoke to want people to know or remember about Mill Creek? They remember this story of what happened to them through a lived experience through the eyes of a child. And so when I asked them, you know, what are your earliest memories of being in Mill Creek? They remember playing outside and they remember going to church and they remember singing in their choir. They remember the NAACP being, um, you know, in their neighborhood. They remember black doctors and lawyers um, having offices in their neighborhood. They remember hearing about black talent, you know, stars of that time period coming and performing in their neighborhood. It was home to them. And one of the biggest things that they stressed to me is that they want people to know that there were human beings who lived there, that there was joy, that there was community. Um, and that's something that Vivian Gibson shared with me as well. What do you do when you've disrupted an entire culture and community, um, you start with saying, we were here. This is where it started. I'm hoping again that young people will start asking questions about, but why and when and how did this happen and how could we not repeat this? How much progress has been made in ensuring that these instances are enshrined in American history and, and, and what more needs to be done? Yeah, I can say on a St. Louis level, I know that the Pillars of the Valley, which is the memorial that was unveiled back in February, is supposed to be the first part in a 
mile long uh, acknowledgement greenway uh, acknowledging the people who live there. So it's a set of pillars that is outlined by lines that show where exact people lived. It has their addresses. It has the names, the ages, the occupations of the people who lived in that community. Um, it's stationed on our new MLS stadiums grounds for people to come when they're coming to a soccer game or they're just walking downtown. They will learn the names of the people who lost their homes um, under urban renewal. Gabrielle, thank you for your reporting and for joining me. Thank you. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Nicole Ellis.